What's up guys? It's your boy Ollie here at Manifest Style Worldwide. I'm sitting with Keith Harvey and today he's going to tell me a little bit about his personal style. So Keith, what are some things outside of yourself that really influence like the way you dress and the way you carry yourself? Uh, you know, certain certain artists like when Schoolboy Q first came out, like with the, you see I have the bucket yeah. hat on right now. I got this from Schoolboy Q. Hello, and when I was younger, when I was younger, I used to tell people that I'm I'm Schoolboy Q without the tattoo because he has a tattoo right here on his face. Yeah, what's his up? Um, I forgot what the tattoo is. It's like, like a teardrop or something? It's not a, I don't think it's a teardrop. I don't want to get corralled. Don't, oh, if man. I'm wrong, don't. Put ourselves on blast. Yeah, I'm <laughs> but yeah, Schoolboy Q was one of my influences. And then I just, New York style, like, because, you know, you see me wearing the Thames. I yeah. love the Thames. Like, I went, I went to the East Coast for the first time um, three years ago. And, like, they had, like, so amazing different styles of Thames. And I... Ever since I saw those different styles, I fell in love, and I just want every single color. Like I saw some green ones that I want as well. And then with clothing, I pretty much just dress kind of simple. I just see something in the in the store, and I'm just like, oh, this looks really nice, and I probably can rock this. Like I wear many different styles, and I try to mix it up a bit. Nice. It's good to be able to find like those simple things, and if you just put it together with the right flair and the right swagger, it can really like elevate your style to the next level. Mm -hmm. A lot of people undervalue these staples and how important they really are. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what about some things that like are truly you that come out from inside yourself uh, when you get dressed? Well, when I get dressed, I just you know I just think about like how uh, I am, um, you know, with the person. Like I see, I'm like, oh, how am I feeling today? Do I want to be super colorful? Because um, like I wear some of the yay stuff. I have like the, I feel like Pablo hat and this pink hat, and everybody's seen it like, oh, this hat is so black because you know it's nobody's wearing really pink, and pink is a really legit color. Like I like wearing pink, yeah. and just with the fashion, I, I really wear dark stuff. Like I have the Pumas on right now. Like I love the Pumas Fresh when I black. yeah <laughs> try to be. I try to be, and then with the Pumas, like when I got like I was telling you earlier with the people, they were hating on me. Even my sister, she was. She was hating on me for wearing Pumas before, like, and I was like, yo, I said, you hated on Pumas, but Riata is about to put out these Pumas, because I'm seeing it happening on Instagram, because I know I'm in the industry. She's like, you know, you don't know what you're talking about, but like a year later, she's like, oh, I just got these new Pumas. I'm mm -hmm. like, that's all it takes is yeah. like a celebrity endorsement, for real, can change the whole brand. Yeah, 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 and it's like, and I like, you know, little outside clothing, like, I know, I don't know if you heard of this clothing line called Red 8. No, but they, they're from the UK, but they make really good clothes. They make really good Red clothes. Red Ape? Yeah. I'm going to have to check those out for sure. Yeah, speaking of like celebrity endorsements too, I just saw Under Armour put on ASAP Rocky. Oh, they That's did? That's going to change their whole thing what? around. What? Yeah. ASAP Rocky is the man. I love ASAP Rocky. It's, it's cool to see how like these clothing companies are really starting to collaborate with artists now too because it brings the whole industry and the whole world a little bit closer yeah 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 that's really good because i feel that i see the, the fashion scene the music scene they're starting to fully merge together and that's really good because you know every they see that you know the artists they're, they're dressing and they're like oh who's dressing and we're getting it from the fashion people yeah. and so if we work together we can make something big you know amen they, they, yeah. Hey, yo, before we go though, Keith, uh, so where are you from? Man, I, I'm from Texas originally, but um, I, Austin is the place to be. That's why I rep. I don't rep nothing hey. else but Austin. APX, baby. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yo, well, this is Manifest Style Worldwide, and this is Keith Harvey. Catch you later. Yeah. Peace. Okay, Chronic about the album. Woo. That's my new anthem. So when we're Niggas talking uh, shit, I had to, to hit them with the phantom. Back uh, at it again, like Bob Damn Daniel. Oh. I'm the truth, but most of y'all niggas like can't oh. handle. Oh. Oh. An up and coming beast. Like, you can call me Young Keith. I'm up yeah. in the fucking booth. Watch how I spit a 16 about my daydream of falling in the big league. Can I make it be and get my names in new fees? I care about the people. I hope they think I'm great. I want my voice to spread across the Great Lakes. I don't get two fucks about what a hater think. Cause I know in the future I'ma make it one day. I'ma make it to the top. I'ma make it to the top. I'ma make it, make it, make it to the top. Gotta keep on working. Cause I'm ready to go now.